to my youtube channel thank you for joining me today for another blue blood look today though as opposed to last time which was a much more intricate look i wanted to do a more simple easy to do but still kind of bold blue statement eye so that is i think what i've done using blue blood um i've used pretty much the same shades i used last time promise next week we'll play with more of the pastels and like maybe do like a really cool pastel look but yeah on my second play i am really still impressed with this palette so glad i bought it and um, i have one slight negative point to say but i'll say that at, um near the end and yeah i'm not gonna fanny around if you want to see how to do this eye it's all i'm doing in this video i know i keep skipping skin and i can do skin i'll do skin in more videos i did it in my last video so it's not like i always skip it but anyway let's just let's just go on so i'm gonna prime using the elf what is it camo concealer and um, this is in the shade fair warm which is so pale But this is going to really, really help the eyeshadow stand out. So that's why I don't mind that it's really pale, but my gosh, it's pale. I had to buy three shades of this before I found a shade that didn't like, that I could wear with foundation, honestly. So if you need a pale concealer, go to Elf. So now that I'm suitably, suitably, suitably pale, we are going to first of all use the shade, I don't know the shade names yet, so I need to look, Undertaker. I'm taking this on a nameless Morphe brush. It must have been part of a set. And I'm gonna take that all through my crease. This palette I am finding now in my second play has a lot of fallout, especially with the shade that I'm putting all over my lid. So you're gonna wanna do your base last, definitely. So with my eyebrow raised, it looks like I have a really good kind of rounded shape, but if I let my eye bag drop, look how much that cuts off. So that's why I'm gonna keep my eye wide open while I apply this shadow in that rounded way. So if you do have hooded eyes, just make sure you open your eye fully, fully, fully which looks a little bit crazy when you're filming, but it just means that the, the look is really effective when your eyes are actually wide open. Because if I just left that, it would have looked terrible. And obviously, as I get older, the drip here, they're gonna get. So now with my eye fully open, you can still see that nice rounded shape, but I'm probably gonna take it just a pinch higher We'll be not focus, just a pinch higher anyway. And then I like to take it, if you've been around here a while, just underneath that lash line at the beginning as well. Then just taking a clean Morphe M506, I'm just going to blend out the edges of this. just to help it blend into the next shade a little bit easier. I'm just going back in with that Undertaker shade and just making sure it covers my entire lid. Just as a base for the glittery shade we're gonna put on. The next shade that I'm gonna go in with is the shade Blue Monday and I'm gonna just go around the edges of this first Undertaker shade and make sure it looks all nice and soft. I don't think I've used any different shades in this video to my first video, but I knew as soon as I saw that, um, whatever the glittery shade is called, I can't remember now, um, Ocean Ice. Whenever I saw that shade, I knew I had to do a dark, 
blue smoky eyes so because I don't also have a world of time today I didn't want to do like an intricate cut crease or anything like that so I'm um yeah I'm just gonna go around the edges Again, I'm just wiping that brush off on my towel and I'm now going in with the shade Blue Blood because it does just blend out this dark shade really well. It does kind of cover it so we will have to go back in with Blue Monday because it is such a vibrant pastel but I don't mind that because this shade is just so beautiful. Like look how pigmented that shade is. Then I'm picking up the shade I'm Cold on a kind of, oh it's another unnamed Morphe brush but it's quite a fluffy, not very defined brush. And I'm gonna go around the top with this shade. This blush, this blush, this brush is just so like flimsy in terms of like, it's not at all densely packed so it just kind of gives a wash of colour and that's the kind of effect I want. Sometimes you want really densely packed brushes and other times you don't. I think next week I'll do, well I'll film another video anyway soon and put it up the week after this goes up maybe because I can't put them up too soon together. Doing a look with blue bug and blood sugar. So I'm gonna merge the two palettes together. I got a lot of requests to do that. And I had thought of it and I thought, oh, I don't know if people would like it, but um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do in an upcoming video because those pinks and purple tones will just work wonders with this palette. And then I'm going back in with the shade Blue Monday and I'm going to just really define that and make sure that it's not just like this really dark shade into that really light shade. Then I'm going in with another much finer brush because this is from the Morphe Grandmaster set again so it is unnamed. And just adding a little bit more of the shade Blue Blood. I should really remember that one at least. So I still need a bit of that colour but I don't want to go over Blue Monday too much. And then just the last double dabble of Blue Monday just to make sure I've got enough in my crease. Then I'm going to take a glitter glue, any glitter glue will do, whatever your favourite one is. I really like the NYX one or even the Collection one, but I'm actually going to use Too Faced, so I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. This is just a little sample beauty brush, the PB04, P for Peter, B for Bravo 04, comes as part of a set. And then I'm going in, of course, with the shade Ocean Ice. I really don't think you can use this shade without a glitter glue, if I'm being honest. I just think, because it's so like thick and chunky in the pan, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean that it's, it's just the consistency that it is. It's almost one that I've not really seen before, and so it needs something to really stick to. And you will really start to see some fallout now. Can you see that on the lid? It's like really lovely and like textured and oh, it's just beautiful. And I'm taking it slightly above my crease as well. 
I really like shimmers in my crease, so. And I'm just picking up a little bit on that unnamed Morphe brush I used before, and I'm gonna put that in my crease. So I'll go clean up this fallout, of which there is, oh, even more. Look at that, enough to do a whole eye. And I will be back <laughs> and we'll do a lower lash line. So I'm just taking a little angled brush and more of the shade Undertaker and I'm going to run that all the way along under my eye. I'm already getting fallout even just from that so yeah just be warned. And then I'm going to take some of the shade Blue Monday on a pencil brush. And just blend that out a little pinch. People always say I look like a raccoon because I take my eyeshadow too far down. And to those people I say raccoons are beautiful and you smell. Probably. And then just a little pinch of the shade Blue Blood as well. I'm going to have to majorly clean up anyway so if I take this too low, literally not caring. Because I'm going to have to seriously make up wipe this under eye area. Then I'm running just a pinch more of that glitter glue underneath my eye. And I'm just going to run Ocean Ice underneath my eye as well. I love like wrapping glittery shades around the whole eye. And then in my inner waterline, I'm using the Ellie Girl Neon Shockwave Liner in Electric. Best to put two layers of this on, so just let like the first layer dry and then put a second layer on and it's way more pigmented. And then inner corner and under my brow, I'm taking the shade Cullinan. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Okay, so all that's left is lashes. I will go through them on, finish off the rest of my face, and then come back and show you the finished look. Um, yeah, I didn't have much time, like I said, I do have to film another video as well. That's why I'm kind of not just, that's why I'm not doing the rest of my face on camera, is basically what I'm trying to say. So I'll be back in a moment with all the rest of my makeup done. I can only apologise for the appalling lack of hair -ness. I just couldn't be bothered and these earrings are a no for this look. They're too prim and proper, they're so cute, but they're not right. Better. That's more me. So I obviously just finished off the rest of my makeup, um, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear something, best foundation ever, second best foundation ever. Um, my highlight is the cookie shade from the Benefit Mini Bronze Squad and lips are Dose of Colours Sand and I think that's kind of the main thing because everything else is pretty boring. Actually, I just wish my forehead was smaller. We're all stuck with things we don't like. So yeah, just a really super quick, easy, simple, fast makeup with the new Jeffree Star Blue Blood. I want to do a myriad of looks with this palette, but I feel like I'll probably bore you before then. So my next video, I'm gonna film with a different palette, but then we'll come back to Blue Blood because <laughs> I just love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it down below in the description box. I do feel, I just want to say, really slight, slight negative. I just feel like that ocean ice colour isn't showing as much as I would want. Like it's not as glittery and like as quite as beautiful as it is in the pan. 
on my eyes so if you have any advice for me on maybe a better way to use it rather than like maybe not glitter glue or whatever you think but when i've tried to like press it on because i tried it on this eye because when on this eye i tried to just press it over the matte shade it just wasn't really sticking so yeah if you have any better ideas please do let me know down in the comments below with that i'm gonna go if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up really really helps me out also leave me a comment or reply to all of my comments and yeah subscribe if you haven't already i have a very very exciting giveaway coming up soon so you're gonna want to be here for that and with that i bid thee a good night so good night <laughs>